my number one concern is citizen security. But apart from that, polling and um, Excelsior High School is separated by a fence with St. John's Vianney and Excelsior High School sits in the Queen Square constituency. 2,009 people are asked from the Genosha Boulevard area to go to Excelsior to vote. 1,440 people need to pass through the same area for go to Muslim school for vote. 1,600 people who vote in Queen Square are asked to go to St. John's Vianney to vote. You can get 100 yards line, 100 yards barrier from Excelsior to, um, to St. John's Vianney. So that we kind of case you have, then you have the, the health care facility, the health clinic right beside um, um, Excelsior. Then you have, my main concern though, that with the various gang rivalry issues within the area. You have Gill Street, you have um, LBC, you have Sunset, you have all kind of things. My main concern that citizen security. I hope that um, the chief elections officer would really consider citizen security. That's my main concern. Elections and boundaries. Should have noticed something strangely happening over the years. Majority of the people from the Yaba area, Caesar Ridge Road area, Queen Charlotte Street area has been transferring to Pickstock and Fort George. And why? Because there's a problem with them going to vote at Muslim over the period of time. But for me, as a farmer era representative, Muslim sits in Port Vela, so you never have no other choice. Then why they may have problem for cross the barrier. No way they could pass so easy. Farber Road, that's a problem. Coming down the boulevard, that's a problem. Coming up the next side of the boulevard, that's a problem. And so, at the end of the day, my main concern with this though, that um, um, citizen security